Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to bring you what is hopefully my final stockades video. I have pretty close to perfected my route for 25 to 31, and I'm very happy about it. I can do pulls over 20 mobs now pretty clean. I didn't think it would be possible to solo full clear this fast until I got a few levels, but the fact that I can already do this at 25 has me really excited for phase launch. I do want to preface this by saying I am geared to the teeth. I am very close to full phase bis. I'm missing a ring, helm, and pants for full bis. The helm and pants I currently have are both second best in slot raid loot, so I'm pretty stacked. I will not be going over all the basics for this farm, as I have three other videos going over it more in detail. If you are new to the Stockades farm, I recommend checking out those videos before diving into this one. This is my current build I'm using. For talents, I'm doing this as Frost. I am not running the Shattered Fingers of Frost build, but I will be once I am a higher level and can afford mana shield more. For runes, I am using Living Bomb, Living Flame, and Regeneration. While I can full clear without regeneration right now, one bad daze or one misstep off the ledge can mean instant death. I run regeneration as a safety net right now to prevent annoying deaths and can still find myself dying with it sometimes. For pulls, my goal is to get as many mobs as I possibly can. The more mobs you have, the better it feels. The reason behind this is because you can chain cast Living Bomb without having to wait for it to fall off targets. And I'll literally try and pull as many mobs as I possibly can. If I could pull every room, I would. But days or mobs catching up to me usually prevents that. You'll often see me using healing potion now instead of mana pots because I'll try and be as greedy as possible with my pulls, taking some extra damage while I squeeze in an extra pull or two. World buff is required to do this. You won't be able to escape mobs without the 20% move speed. For the juggle phase, I am no longer opening with living flame unless I need the healing immediately. I have found that sending living flame after 7 to 8 living bombs is usually better. Reason for this is because living flame is up during the kill phase. Since we are using improved blizzard, living flame being active is massive. The improved blizzard will keep most of the mobs stacked in the living flame and the explosions will kill most of the mobs before they can run away. Before casting blizzard, make sure to step off the ledge, get the mobs running towards you, then step back onto the ledge and cast blizzard. This will make the mobs take the longest path to you and guarantee you get a full channel blizzard off. I am having some pretty clean kill phases now, and a lot of the time I'm not even having to mana pot or dynamite. Alright, let's go over the route. Like I said before, I try and pull as much as I possibly can, but one bad day may require you to give up on pulling extra rooms and force you to run to the front. Do not try and force these big pulls if you get dazed early. It will likely lead to your death. Always make sure you are checking the rooms you have previously pulled for stragglers, as you can scoop these guys easily later. My first pull I try and get the entire middle hallway, the middle end room, and one of the front middle side rooms. Pull 2 I try and clear some of the mobs in the left hallway, and then grab the remaining rooms attached to the middle hallway. Pull 3 I will drag the remaining left hallway mobs to the middle of the left circle room. Nova all the mobs here, and then grab as many of the left hallway rooms as possible. Pull 4 I'll get all 3 of the rooms attached to the left circle room. Make sure to avoid the boss here because he fears. You can pull all the mobs around him without aggroing him. On the way back I'll grab the remaining left hallway rooms. For the right side of the instance, you need to be more careful here. These mobs stun and have more HP, so I tend to avoid massive pulls on this side. For pull 5, I'll grab the entire hallway and the first two right hallway rooms. For pull 6, I'll grab the ogre boss and the remaining two right hallway rooms. Warning: If you're trying to boost, the ogre boss will cast chain lightning if there is more than one target in range. This can lead to your boosties dying. However, if you are solo, he won't try and cast chain lightning ever. Also, be careful of the dwarf boss, because he can stun. For pull 7, I grab the side rooms attached to the right big circle. I avoid the high level boss on this end as well. This is really hard and I still die a bit while doing it, but I'm starting to get it down. I was boosting my friend from 17 to 25 last night, and he got 8 levels in 2.5 hours. He was averaging close to 90k XP per hour, which is insane. I definitely see myself hitting the hourly instance cap doing this from 25 to 31, especially considering we get Kona Cold, and a new rank of blizzard during that time. Either way, it's going to be insane XP per hour. Considering the fact that I'll be doing a pre-quest turn-in route which will start me on the farm at 26, with the added benefit of having both Dark Moon Fair buff as well as the 5% Ashenvale buff for the first few hours, I'm expecting to be 31 within a handful of hours tops. Well, I hope this guide helped you guys out. Up next you'll watch me do a full clear in less than 15 minutes. I will be live streaming phase 2 launch here on this YouTube channel. So if you're interested in watching me speed level to 40, come stop by the stream. I've been receiving so many kind and wonderful messages about my videos. It makes me really happy to see you guys are enjoying this content. I appreciate all of you out there. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.